investment you deserve to have everything in the world Calculating time coordinates. Go back four months from current time portal. Yes. Yes. We're, we're getting close. I know it. You know that I'm almost done with my show? Why, Dad? Well, I'll tell you why. Why? Because we need more money. Dad. And money is the most important thing in the world. So I'm going to be working a lot more. I gotta take this, Bubby. Right. Yeah. 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 Ow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, ow. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Cora, yeah, yeah, just want to go over some of the reports here for the robotics. No problem. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The debug is going well. Um, just a few more issues we got to iron out. But we'll be testing this throughout the day today. And and you could have that by later this morning. It's about 8 o'clock now. If you could have that by 8 yes. 15, that would be great. You know, just a full yes, of course. Yes. section. Yes. That'd be great. That'd be, so that'd be really great. Not and, now, uh, Des. Okay, I'm going to have this meeting go to about 8 10. So if you could have that about 8 15, that would be great. How's that sound? We can make that work. Yes. Daddy's working! We really want to hit our part. We really want to make sure that everything is going right according to plan because we're really doing really good. We do really do really good and yeah, our SLAs are really important right now. And we really gotta punch it up and I'll hit our, right our goals in stride because it's really important course, to sir. the company at large uh, yeah. to hit our goals in stride because we need to hit our SLA contracts so that we get more contracts so that our contracts are met. And in, in doing so, we can succeed as a company and uh, you will be greatly rewarded with more work. And by doing more work, you'll be able to work more. And by putting in more hours, you'll be able to be working. Yeah, something like that. 
Gorgosaurus! Wow, an unboxing, my final unboxing of the Tyrannosaurus series. Very exciting to get this big blue guy out of here. Bluey. A very pretty Gorgosaurus. Oh man, we're going all the way to Gorgon. Gorgon. Oh yeah, it's Gorgontic. Look how big it is. Oh yeah, it's... You know what, Corey? Are you going to say it's a gorgeous figure? No! I'm not going to say the obvious one! Okay? I'm not going to do it! Look how blue it is. Look how no floof. Wow, wow, wow. Let's take a look at the box. These boxes are always cool. We can see the figure inside. We can see the figure unique fig. We can see the unique figure art on the front, sporting a very wide agape mouth, hunting some type of ceratops in there. The mouth so agape, I'm guessing it'll be at least ten times the mouth openage that the actual figure can achieve. Let's turn it around, and we can see the figure there along with the other figures of the Wave Three Tyrannosaurus. And the blurb about the dinosaur itself. Wow, wow, wow. A very close relative of Albertosaurus. So gracile. Not Gordo, like the Tyrannosaurus. No, no, no. This is a skinnier bitch. <laughs> Not as fat as T-Rex. And because it's skinnier, maybe we'll see later if it can move a little better than the T-Rex of this, of this series. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll never know if we don't get it out of the box, am I right? It's time for a Corzian's episode 60 unboxing. Let's do it. I've got my safety skizzers to unbox zone 8. Okay, I probably need better scissors than this. Oh no, it's okay. Okay, okay, okay. Now, if you recall, these figures require some assembly. And it is so hard to get that tail on. I'm probably gonna sit here for months sweating, profusely doing so. All these figures come with instructions. And of course, a collector's card featuring the art of the figure and the same border from the back of the box. That's cool. And instructions on how to assemble and switch out the legs. It has different walking feet. About to place on the ground feet. It starts equipped with the standing only feet. It comes with Articulated feet, which has a bending knee, bending ankle, and bending foot at the toes. Uh -huh. And it comes with the stand with standing peg. tail on I think I did it off camera the tail comes off very easily I never know if they're on or not it hurt like hell my hands still you can see the damage on my hands uh, I think I did it also up uh, so for now it's pretty difficult to stand without the stand even with the standing legs so I tried to shove the standing peg into the hole on one foot the standing peg very, very tight, um, but it's standing with the stand. That's nice. So, without further ado, let's talk about the figure itself. First impressions. You know what? I mean, just looking at it, if it was a statue alone, it's beautiful. Sculpt has never been an issue with this stuff. I always love the way they look. Oh man, I love the look of this thing. And you're right, it is pretty skinny. It's got, it's not bulky, it's skinny. 
But man, I just love the blue, the blue and the tannish gold colors of it. The gold, a lot more golden on the head, fading away to like a tannish cream color for the rest of it, and the the um, the speckled kind of camo-y patterning all throughout the body. It looks great, and the kind of goldeny light colored claws look really cool too. I love the head crest colors and the. Just the head itself is so awesome looking. And the eyeballs are nice and not too wonky, not too like wall-eyed looking. Oh man, I love it, I love it, I love it. Just the look of it is great. I don't like the hyper-segmented tail of it. I'm not a huge fan of that. Um, I do like that the at least the end of the tail is a bendy wire. I wish, I wish the whole tail was that. Um, I do like that this one avoided avoids the skin head that only apparently only the big rex uh shares that i don't own all of them uh but of the ones i own only the big rex has that it's sad that the t-rex is the only one with the foreskin head because it's my favorite dino and you know you'd kind of want that head to be the one you'd want to suck on that makes sense you know what i mean you, you'd want to suck on that head um, but just based on looks alone, it is super awesome. Um, and I am very pleased with the sculpt. The detail is so good. The pebbling of the scales, the different variations of the skin folds, and the different scale texture all throughout the body. Just really impressive. Very, very, very cool to look at. Uh, very. And um, I am pleased that for the most part, the mouth is fully closed and uh, nice looking lip coverage on the teeth, not seeing too much of a gap there with the head, with the jaws fully closed there. So that looks good too. The paint and the detail is just always spot on. I mean, they always just like look like real animals. And uh, this, even though it's blue, I mean, it just like looks like a real animal. Um, this one really uh, caught my eye of the line these can get very expensive, especially when you buy a bunch of them. Why did I choose this one out of the whole line and not just drop a million dollars on the whole friggin' line? Well, I'm gonna be honest with you, my short queens and tall kings. I would never lie to you. I'd never lie to you. Oh, I never lie to you. <laughs> I never really gave a shit about Gorgosaurus as a species. You're basically a Baratosaurus. Basically, you're just a skinny T-Rex. The better species. So why did I care? Because look how blue it is. Oh, I love the blue. You gotta love the blue. Again, I just love the whole paint detail, the really cool pattern patterning on the face. Extends all the way up to the tail. Oh, it looks great. But, alas, great things must not always be talked about because I've approached the regrettable part of the show where I talk about how these action figures actually actionable move. And yes, we're here to talk about articulation. Now, this isn't as big a chonker as the T-Rex, but it's not as little as a dicky as the Proceratosaurus. It's somewhere in there. So shall the movability of it be somewhere in between the two as well as speech? We'll see. Let's talk about how Gorgosaurus can articulate. Hopefully better than I can. Jaw movement, which honestly, that's wider than I thought it would be. It's it's opening up in there. And it even has a little tongue. Oh, the tongue moves a little bit in there. Really cool. Hey, look, Mattel, guess who's paying attention? The stupid cheek things don't look stupid in there. I like the teeth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks a little, you know, segmented and weird with all the different pieces glued in there. But it looks good. It looks good. Good textures, good teeth. Chomp, 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 chomp. Um, it's got base of the head movement. A little bit of rotate in there. Not much going on. Not much range there at all. Nothing else throughout the neck. The base of the head rotates and it's cowl, I guess. But there's there's no uh, yeah. 
there is one degree of up and down there, but mainly it's just a rotate and I guess another degree of back and forth. We're gonna skip the we're gonna skip the limbs and just stay on the torso. Um, it does have a torso joint. Again, I just think it's for wigglies or maybe for gills for breathing because it's not moving in any way. Again, one degree back and forth and maybe a degree up and down. And again, the base of the tail, it does rotate. Again, it's gonna pop off if I actually move it too much because I don't know if it's on or not. Um, there's the base of the tail, a little further down the tail, a little further down the tail, and then the end of the tail is actually a bendy wire. And now the tedious part, which is the most movable because it's so teeny and bendy. It's got shoulder, it's got elbow, it's got wrist piece. They're so teeny and delicate though, I don't want to crank them too hard, but they do move, they do rotate, and they do bend and rotate. It just, yeah, you can do it. And at the thigh, let's get it off the stand here. At the thigh, or at the hip, I should say, it's got a little bit of splay, but not really. It can move, creating huge gaps in the geometry. It can move a little bit back and forth. And the default standing legs do have a bit of Paint is flecking off as I play with it. So you do want to watch out for that if you care about that sort of thing. So it does have a bit of knee movement. Let's switch out the legs, which you just do by twisting and pulling. Kind of like you're unscrewing it. They pop out. Oh. Be careful because I'm painting my I'm painting my desk with the figure and it is rubbing off. Not good, not good. I wasn't even pressing, pressing that hard on the desk either. Wow, both sides. Nope, just one side, but still, that's not good. I wasn't pressing very hard either. Paint, paint everywhere! Oh boy, okay, 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 okay. Uh, where did I put all the shit? Oh, uh, it's far away. And again, I think these should just screw in. Yep, a doodle. Yep, they screw in pretty easily, which is nice. Okay. And you know which is which because the inner claw faces in. That's how you know which is which, folks. Learn your anatomies, folks. Okay. So we got the articulated legs. They don't recommend using these as standees. They don't even have holes on the bottom to use as a stand. So if you're gonna use these, you wanna switch one standing only leg, one articulated leg. Um, and these have decent movement in them. If you can get it. Here, I'm, I don't wanna rip paint off. Ugh. Wanna loosen up the joints. I don't wanna go too nuts, too nuts, but the foot rotates and bends nicely. The ankle does rotate, okay? The foot falls off very easily, but the feet are interchangeable. I'm trying to get the ankle to bend, but that is stiff as balls. Let me see if I can get this thing to stand on the articulated leg. I'm not anticipating I'm going to be able to because the feet are really shaky. They're really loose. Okay, okay, okay. I can do it. Um, not in the, what I would say, a very realistic pose, but yeah, all right, all right, all right. I stand corrected. You can do it. You can do it. Doesn't look great, but doesn't look terrible either. Um, I don't know how long you'd be able to hold such a pose, but it is standing with the articulated legs. So, I'm gonna switch out one articulated leg and put one standing leg back in. Fuck you, fucker. Also be careful, 
The claws are pointy. They hurt. They hurt me. Who hurt me? You hurt me. All right. That is pretty. That is a pretty cool pose. I like it. I'm not going to lie. Switching out the legs, getting at the stand. Ten years have passed. I look like future me over here. I'm not happy about it. But the end result is a pretty dang cool ass looking figure. Um, you really can't deny that it looks, it looks awesome. It does. Um, is it fun? No. <laughs> is it getting debris everywhere? Is it enraging to swap out the parts? Yes. Can it really only barely move? Uh-huh. Do I seem to ask myself questions during these shows lately only? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. But it's it's fucking awesome other than that. I mean, it's a, it's a cool figure. It really is. Uh, it's all I can say. But now I'm going to spend 10 more years doing some more poses. Here are some poses for Gorgosaurus Libratus. Here is Gorgosaurus with the other Tyrannosaurus of the line, starting with Proceratosaurus, you Tyrannus, and the big boy, or big girl if you like, T-Rex itself. And of course, here is Gorgosaurus with Taurosaurus too. Oh, Gorgosaurus and Taurosaurus to play in the blues. Oh, stay up the smack out of there because too much to think about. So, what do I think about it? No one asked? I'll tell you. Beast of the Metasaurus, Gorgosaurus gets a three out of five. I saw Walking with Dinosaurs the movie 3D and I noticed that Gorgosaurus was blue in that too. We did it! We did it! Oh, Dino Land! <laughs> Where I belong! Where I belong! Oh, we did it! If you like what you see, please see my YouTube channels. Channel, channel, channel. For more content. I even have a Pokemon! <laughs> oh shit, no I don't. Uh, do I? There's lots of Pokemon. I might have a Pokemon. I hear A.B. growling, he did not like talking about Pokemon. He might be some type of Asian racist. You know, what is against him? A.B. shush! I don't want to hear it anymore. I've heard enough of your manifesto. <laughs> I have a Patreon for action figures of the like. And to keep the lore going, there's gonna be costumes. So I'm saying. Anyway. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time on Corazians. Speaking of next time on Corazians, next time on Corazians, we're talking freaks. That's right, we're talking freaks of Beast Wars. We're going deep into my ancient basement connection for my old trans metal two Beast Wars. But we're not out of the woods because we're also unboxing a new Hasbro Transformers 40. Years of Transformers, a Beast Wars Legacy Silver Bolt, brand new Silver Bolt. I have never owned a Silver Bolt, and boy, darn it, am I happy to finally have one. So we're doing Freaks and Fusors with a brand new Silver Bolt, <laughs> Silver Bolt, along with some oldies as well. So that will be fun. Speaking of growling, AB, what do you think of this Gorgosaurus? And don't worry, folks. I've rendered his cone off. He has no more cone. The he's, he's harmless now. He's just a dog. A very, very not smart dog. Amy, what do you think of Gorgosaurus over her? Amy, what do you think of Gorgosaurus? What do you think of Gorgosaurus? What do you think about it? Eh?
Huh? Do you like it? <laughs> he says no! Yes. Such refined tastes for the museum esque statue type repertoire of my collection. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. See you next time on Corazines. Peace. Bye, guys. Thanks. <laughs> you are incredible. I love you. I love you too. But what will my family say? Them face horns are racist. Who cares what they think? Well, that was also kind of racist. But darn it, make love to me! Oh! Oh! Our egg! It's happening! Mammy, 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 mammy! What the f- Oh shit! <laughs>